Hello, my name is Garrett, and I'm the Automotive Guru. In this new series titled Mercedes University, we will be going over each model comprehensively. The goal for these videos are to be short and to the point. Our first model will be the 2020 GLE. There will be 15 parts to this series, so make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when each video is released. Part one will be the quick start guide, so let's get started. Keyless entry allows you to be able to lock and unlock the vehicle as long as the keys in say your pocket or in say a purse. When you approach the vehicle, you'll put your hand inside the door handle and it will unlock. If you tap this little indentation located right here on each door, it will lock the vehicle. On the right hand side of the steering wheel right here is where you'll find the start engine and stop engine button. Provided we have the key inside the vehicle, we can put our foot on the brake Press this button once in release and the engine will start. Vice versa, if we press that button once in release, it will turn off the car. Located behind the right hand side of the steering wheel, we'll find our shift gear lever. And we put our foot on the brake, we pull all the way down until we feel the wall, that will be drive. Push up until you feel the wall, that's reverse, and press on the end of it to park. If you're ever unsure of what gear you're in, you can always look right here. And whichever icon has a square around it, is what gear you're in. Okay, so let's set the memory seating inside the vehicle. We do this by adjusting our seat found on the door. We then adjust the steering wheel, utilizing this up, down, forward, backwards. And then we adjust the mirrors. We select the mirror that we want, either the left or the right, and we use the up, down, left, right area right here to be able to put them in the proper position. Once we have done all of these, we will press M, release, and then the number that you wanna be. You will hear that tone, and that tone tells you that it is now saved. Then on, you will just press one, two, or three to get to your memory seating. Located on the driver's side near the door handle, we'll find our front and rear window controls. Now in this particular vehicle, it has side window shades, and we know this by the dots that are located on the rear windows. As long as the window is up, if we pull on these, it will put the window shade up. And vice versa, if we push down on them, it will put them down. Now, once the shade is completely down, we can actually push down on it again to get those windows to go down. There are four ways to open the trunk. From the driver's door, you can pull on this little tab right here. And when you pull on it, it will open the trunk. When you push and hold on it, it will close the trunk. That icon right there looks identical to the icon that is found on the key right here. And if you were to push on that, it will do both operations, opening and closing. We can approach the vehicle. Right under the Mercedes logo, there's a little notch. We can pull it once and release, and the trunk will open. If the key is on us and we have hands-free access, we can go up to the rear of the vehicle, kick dead center in and out, and the trunk will open. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you'll find the lighting controls for the exterior. Currently we're in automatic, meaning that it'll go on and off automatically for you. You don't have to do anything. If you turn to the left once, this right here is gonna be daytime running lights on only. If you turn to the left again, you have your right side parking light and turn it again, left side parking light. All the way turning to the right is going to be just lights on. Additionally, you have fog lights, which are gonna be right here. On the right hand side of the start and stop engine button, you'll see an A. And this is for turning on and off automatic start-stop. What automatic start-stop is, is when you come to a complete stop, you'll notice that the car slightly dies and turns back on. This is for fuel economy, but if you don't like it, you can press this button once in release, and it will turn this off. So you'll see off, and then on the left-hand side, you can see the same icon with off. Climate control is as follows. You have driver's temperature, menu which gives you a diagram of what you're actually adjusting on the screen. You have increasing and decreasing fan speed. You can also turn it off by pushing all the way down. You have automatic which adjusts these two based upon temperature. You have front defroster, rear defroster, recirculating air, cold air, sink which allows the driver when they adjust their temperature to adjust the entire vehicle, and then passenger temperature control. Thanks for watching. 
Our next video is gonna be on the instrument display in the GLE, so click that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when these future videos in the series come out.